today's video today we are going to look at bond cleavage or fission so what is bond cleavage or fission so it simply means the breaking up of bonds breaking of bonds why is this so important in organic chemistry because any reaction means that some bonds will be broken and some new bonds will be formed some bonds are broken and some new bonds some new bonds are formed so it is important for us to understand how bonds are broken in organic chemistry so there are two kinds of bond fissions or cleavage that occur in organic chemistry and they are homolytic cleavage homolytic and the second one is heterolytic we will take a look at them one by one let's talk about homolytic cleavage homo means same so in this type of bond cleavage the species will get an equal amount of electrons and for example if i take something like this a b and there is a bond between them so when this bond breaks you know that each bond each bond has two electrons and so since we have to divide them equally so each atom or species will get one electron and so when this bond breaks we will draw it with half arrow half means one electron and we will get a and b separately with each one of them having an electron so a will have an electron and b will also have an electron these species are called free radicals so what we understand from this so far is that homolytic cleavage leads to free radicals and what are free radicals free radicals are species which have an odd number of electrons so when does a bond break homolytically this knowledge is very helpful because it helps us to predict helps to predict the mechanism of a reaction and what i mean by a mechanism is the steps that are involved in the reaction so this knowledge helps us to predict the mechanism of any reaction so here are the conditions which favor a homolytic cleavage you should remember these conditions first is presence of sunlight presence of sunlight and there are many ways to write sunlight in a reaction you can write h nu which shows the energy of a photon and a photon is the particle of light rays or it can also be written as uv ultraviolet rays whenever you see any of these you should assume that the reaction goes by homolytic cleavage the second condition is presence of a peroxide for example you can take h2o2 or na2o2 etc if such species are present in the reaction it will be by homolytic cleavage the third condition is high temperature if there is very high temperature it favors the formation of free radicals the fourth condition which favors free radical formation is the non polar solvents non polar solvents for example ccl4 is a non polar solvent so if any of these conditions is available you should assume that the reaction is going by homolytic cleavage or free radical formation example reaction you must have heard about the chlorination reaction of alkene and if you remember 
it requires the presence of sunlight requires presence of sunlight what this indicates is that the reaction proceeds by homolytic cleavage and here is how free radicals are formed we have a chlorine molecule and in the presence of sunlight it breaks homolytically and there each chlorine atom takes up an electron and forms a free radical like this both of them have an electron we will discuss about this reaction in detail when we reach the alkanes for now this should suffice now let's talk about heterolytic fission hetero means different so when a bond breaks heterolytically then the division of electrons is unequal right unequal division of electrons and what that means is since every bond has two electrons so one of these species will get both the electrons and the other will get none so one gets both electrons other gets none now which species will get the electron the more electronegative one will get the both electrons for example if i have a bond between a and b and we break them heterolytically then one of these either a or b will take both the electrons and the other will be left with none and so we have a and b and this arrow shows that b has taken both the electrons so b has its own electron plus an extra electron and therefore we add a minus charge here and a has lost its own electron and therefore it has a plus charge so heterolytic cleavage leads to formation of ions formation of ions if you remember homolytic cleavage led to the formation of free radicals but heterolytic cleavage leads to formation of ions the ion with a positive charge is called a cation and that with a negative charge is called an anion for example if we have hcl and we break this bond homolytically then out of h and cl cl is more electronegative so it will take up both the electrons and what we end up with is h i'm sorry I'll let me select another ink here what we end up with is h and cl with cl taking a minus charge and h with a plus charge and therefore we have two ions so when does a bond break heterolytically generally when the conditions for homolytic cleavage are not present a bond breaks heterolytically and that means most of the time most of the time bond breaks heterolytically so guys that is about bond cleavage see you in the next video with another topic bye bye